Hey guys, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Now, if you're watching this video, it's probably because you either stumbled upon it on YouTube or you're actually in the market for a new car. And I gotta say, you've got good taste. Today, we're gonna compare a few the Audi Q7 and the Acura MDX. Now, I'm somebody who loves to travel, I love adventure, and I like to do it with a little bit of style and class, which means I want my vehicle to echo that as well. Today, I'm gonna save you a whole lot of time. I'm gonna do the comparisons for you. Let's figure out which one of these is that perfect balance between rugged and refined. Now let's face it, looks matter, and you wanna drive something fresh and exciting, no matter where you're heading. Now when it comes to the Q7 here, I'm not really sure it does the trick. It's got some strong lines, and the available LED headlights are pretty cool, but it's a little bit conservative. And they recently updated the styling, but it still kinda has that vibe to it. Now when it comes to the interior, it's clean and modern, which I like. It's got a sharp and crisp screen in there. Plus it's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration if you pay to upgrade the package. And then you're still left with this trackpad, which is kind of clumsy and awkward to use, especially when driving. Now the Q7 does have some pretty neat safety and assistive features like adaptive cruise control and active lane assist, but to get those, it's gonna cost you. All right, now come on, that's what I'm talking about. This is a good looking SUV. It's classically beautiful, yet sporty and aggressive. I mean, I could see taking this thing off road to a campground or a wine tasting. One of the first things you notice about this car, of course, that diamond pentagon grill. There's a sculpted hood up top that combines with the grill and leads right into the jewel eye LEDs. There's five of them, which gives you a brighter view of the road. Standard, by the way. Then there's the power moonroof, these available beautiful alloy wheels, and the dual chrome exhaust outlets. And guess what? It gets even better on the inside, where you're greeted with this gorgeous cockpit. I mean, look at this beautiful available wood trim, leather wrapped steering wheel, 14 way power adjustable driver's seat, heated by the way. Uh, pardon me, when is tea? Oh, two hours from now. Very well. I shall just sit in this comfortable seat until then. You know, and everything is right where you want it in this MDX. You've got these dual screens here, which allow you to control the climate or your music or whatever you want. And Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration are both standard. Thank you very much. Plus, there are ports and plugs all over the MDX, so everyone can stay connected to their oh-so-important gadgets, whether you're going around town or heading out of town. And if you're looking to up your style game even more, consider the Advance Package, where you get handcrafted natural wood accents, Milano leather seating with contrast stitching, and maybe my favorite thing of all, second row heated captain's chairs with their own console. Speaking of rear seating, check this out. One touch is all it takes to be able to access that third row. And unlike some other luxury brands, the MDX was designed as a three-row SUV from the start. That means the roof line and the wheelbase were specifically engineered to allow for more space in the vehicle. And there's more than 90 cubic feet of storage space back here. Last but certainly not least, there are safety and assistive features to consider. But thankfully, Acura doesn't make you pick and choose from a long list. No, they just give them to you. It's called Acura Watch. It's a sophisticated suite of advanced technologies that use cameras and radar to sense what's going on around the vehicle. So it could, for instance, let you know you're getting too close to the car in front of you. Or it could assist with helping you brake to reduce the severity of or completely avoid an impact. And maybe coolest of all, it can keep you centered in your lane while you're driving. That's impressive. It's also standard on every MDX. All right, now it's time for the real fun. Let's test their performance. Let's hit the road. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the auditory enjoyment brought to you by the 3.5 liter V6 of this MDX. Now that, coupled with the fact that this vehicle weighs hundreds of pounds less than its counterpart, as well as the fact that it's got a nine-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters, makes this thing fun to drive on pretty much any road. Now another reason for this road-hugging fun is the available super-handling all-wheel drive, which can distribute power evenly to the front or the back, either together or independently. Pretty brilliant. The outcome, fantastic control and handling. All right, so here we are in the Q7. That is the engine roaring to life, trying to overcome the fact that this thing weighs 600 pounds more than the MDX. Once you get going, these shifts are quick and smooth, but there's only eight speeds instead of the MDX's nine. And it handles all right. It's got their Quattro all-wheel drive, but overall, this thing is just, I don't know, doesn't have the spirit that the MDX has. 
All right, so it's time. Who comes out on top? Well, the Q7 has some pluses for sure, but ultimately it's missing those innovative features and that spirited performance that you get from the MDX. And if you're talking overall value, well, in that case, you're out of luck. So the Acura MDX is sporty, it's distinctive, and it's absolutely beautiful on the inside. Plus, it's loaded with so many standard features that you're going to have to pay extra for with other brands. And on top of that, it's exciting to drive. So whether I'm heading out with my friends to go camping for the weekend or taking my family out for a nice dinner, this thing's up for pretty much any adventure I throw at it. And I'm doing it in style with plenty of room. What more could you want? I'm glad I asked. Meet the all-new MDX A-Spec. This style package is the ultimate expression of sport design. And it starts with a more aggressive front end with dark chrome trim and fog lights. And of course, you've got these 20-inch shark gray alloy wheels. Inside, there are sport seats trimmed in rich red or black leather and chrome dual exhaust outlets in the back. It's the way to go when you really want to stand out. All right, well, my job here is done, but yours isn't. Head to Acura.com and make your own comparison. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. I'm going to head out this way to the great white unknown.